Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh uh, Halo guys uh, Welcome back to my channel So today we're gonna talk about uh, How to set a specific beat Of a register On a modbus Okay uh, In this case I use a modbus TCP But it's also applicable on the uh, Modbus um, Modbus RTU also Okay so let's jump into it okay now you can see i have a uh i have a flow here i have uh, created uh to 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 set a specific bit on the uh modbus register but i'm not finished it yet but what i'm wanna show you here first uh is actually uh, in here what is the component that I use here uh, in, uh, this one is just uh, inject once after one second so uh, it's like uh, when we refresh the the node uh, it will be uh, refresh the state of the the switch only so uh, that's uh, gonna be pretty much so we only uh, send the uh, payload zero for this uh, a switch and this switch actually uh, you can download from the dashboard not read dashboard actually so uh, I'm gonna set like this like uh, I'm not using true or false here uh, as uh, I'm use uh, one zero because it's direct representation of the binary so uh, we're not gonna convert again uh, true is uh, a one and false is zero we're not gonna do that we do directly in here okay so and then next is uh, after we toggle the switch we send the payload into this uh, what we call this I think this is change yeah change I use this one change change note and uh, in here we we play like uh, data context okay so we set the flow dot uh, set bit 16 here uh, we take that that uh, we set that flow uh, from the payload that we have okay so that's one the idea uh, actually if you see here I go here this payload will set the value into here actually okay and then that data will be stored temporarily okay it will not trigger directly sending that data into the next flow but it's just keep it that value onto that uh, uh, node okay and then when we trigger the button data it will send the value that he, it received before to the next flow okay let's let me just demonstrate this one okay so if i set this true this become one now you can see here true there's a green indicator here and then i press the button here it will show the value true okay so if i set this false it will be send zero okay what this is uh, implementing to on the on the real uh, uh, application so I have a case actually uh, on the previous project it has uh, something like this we know that on uh, one register well it has a 16 bit register okay it has a 16 bit register so uh, each uh, some equipment assign each bit of that register into a specific function like here this is the first bit here okay so it assigned to become one because this become one only like uh, uh, it's uh, uh, lights on or lights off okay bits this beacon and then uh, there's another equipment also this is just this ex example uh, but actually on the on the real situation it might be various equipment that uh, gonna use this configuration like a palm or uh, another equipment 
uh, you have faced. <coughs> so uh, in here, uh, as we know that that registers that registers uh, consists of a si sixteen bit, right? But that register, especially holding register, that only understand the decimal value. Okay, so they will uh, receive as a decimal value to set each bit and then after he received the decimal value it would uh, it will proceed in its memory to represent uh, to uh, again uh, interpret this decimal value into binary and then will be a, a set the specific bit based on what he received what it received okay for example for example I said this all zero okay for example uh, when our logic want to trigger uh, the sounder one in here so it means we want to trigger sounder one so what we actually want to send to the modbus holding register is 8 okay so when when uh, the uh, there is a system that uh, okay we want to uh, set the annunciator 2 and sounder 2 and beacon 2 is active okay so it means this is one this is one and this is one so actually what we send is 146 okay this is what the holding register understand actually but inside this it will be uh, it will be again uh, change the value into the binary system and then set the specific bit of its memory okay so let's go back to our uh, note here and so okay I will show you what it does I will <coughs> uh, activate this debug and then you can see here all of this data will be joined into one structure so in here I I take the join node and then the combine each payload and we create a string value okay by default when you s when you select th this a string value it will be form like this okay it will be right like a brick line here okay uh, what will what it will be shown it will if, if it has a brick line if it has a brick line it will show the brick line so each value will be formed like this we don't want to we don't want to uh, do like this we want to receive like you know like continuously value so we're gonna remove this just left this as the as a blank value and we deploy again and we set for example the the uh, the beacon to here and that will be shown like this okay okay next uh, what you need uh, to pay attention also you have to pay attention on the that on the context data you can select the context data here so the sequence value what uh, will be sent into the join node here based on this that's why I write like this zero one zero two zero three if not it will be intercept so actually if you set set bit one the value will be intercept between this one zero nine and ten and then afterwards if you write set bit two it goes jump into after si bit sixteen so uh, uh, to 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 prevent its happening so make sure that you write something like this okay zero two zero two so it will be sequencing like this okay so the next thing that we're gonna do we already get the uh, binary representation but in string data as you shown here okay so we gonna call this function okay and then I'm gonna put the output of payload here. I called this like MSG. Yeah, 
equal to uh, parse int yes yeah parse integer what I'm gonna parse is the payload what is the radix number two and then done I'm gonna delete this I'm gonna call here I wanna see what is the the the, the uh, output of this function we're gonna see if it's not correct we're gonna fix it up okay so in here function try to send the type of number okay so this is wrong we cannot uh, do directly like this so actually this is a message the payload I guess not I guess but I think <laughs> message the payload the percentage or send. yeah I think this one I think this is a correct one we're gonna do yes one and then we activate beacon one sounder one and uh announce theater one it will send 73 okay so it will be same like this when we activate the beacon one and the sounder one and the announce theater one so the value will be sent into the bus is this one 73 okay perfect then this is the result so now what we're going to do we're going to send the this data to modbus i'm going to take the modbus right the right modbus right where is this i'm going to search directly in here to here must bus right right modbus right okay so the function should be because we we only write into the single register so we choose this one and the address is based on this i want to receive the value here okay so the address is because this is zero base so i only need like address zero uh, and then the ip address is what is the ip address that i use here one to nine the port is five 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 and five 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 what is the unit id the unit id is one okay now everything is perfect yeah it is one done and the output of this one and we're going to monitor the output in here oh sorry my bad this one okay we clear all the node and we try to send the data here the address zero value is one and the address as you can once on or or i just select like two two and two 146 so perfect now you can see here if you compare everything is same second okay zero one zero zero one zero zero one zero so if i activate this it will go like that so if i activate all of this except this one it will go like this okay that's all folks i hope uh, might be helpful for you so just make sure the data context also and what you gonna need to pay attention is uh, this flow this one okay uh, flow uh, the flow name and then in here it's like a uh, it's write itself uh, 
it's right itself like you can see here the name of this node is itself is 16 best set, set bit 16 sorry set bit 16 and then in here also it set its payload based on what it received okay so that's all folks you might uh, wanna test uh, if any question let me uh, know in the comment or if you have a more simple uh, solutions also please share to me also it will be a big appreciate okay thanks all thank you for watching bye